folks. Um, I'm getting ready to go do some fishing. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I've got my bass rods here and I'm going to see if I can catch some largemouth. So a little bit different from what I usually do. Normally I'm out sitting on a lake or a riverbank trying to catch some catfish and uh, wanted a little change of pace today. So I'm going to see if I can find some bass. Um, I've come out to a smaller reservoir in the area. Um, it's either, I don't know if it's a state or a community, like a county lake, but uh, I came out here either, if not my last video, one of the recent videos that you that uh, you all saw, uh, I killed the bluegill. I just caught bluegill after bluegill after bluegill, and they were all good quality fish, and that was out here, so I caught a couple small bass while I was doing that, but... Um, I thought, you know, I wanted to change the pace, so I figured I'd come back out here today. It's a little bit better um, body of water to fish from the bank. Um, so I brought my uh, bass rods with me, and I'm going to see if I can make anything happen out here. So this lake is, um, half of the lake is uh, pretty open, has rather um, good bank access. Um, the other half of the lake is residential. It's uh, the banks are private, got people's houses on them. So if you had a kayak or a boat, it'd be a great place to hammer some docks. But uh, that's not in the cards for me today. So I'm going to be staying on this side of the lake. I'm going to start out here in the same cove that I was getting bit with all them bluegill last time I was out here, and see if I can catch some fish. Um, there is a, a fella down in his bass boat fishing that cove. Uh, that uh, I intended to start in so and I don't know if he's had any luck or not catching anything but so I guess I'll be fishing right behind him and I've been watching him here a little bit he's been fishing pretty quick so I may just slow it down and see if I can find a fish that's hungry and wants to play so I'm gonna show you what my uh, rigs are I've got all these rods already rigged up show you what I'll be using today and then I'm gonna get after it stop talking and see if I can go uh, catch a few fish Okay guys, these here are the uh, rigs I'm going to be fishing today. I've got a uh, shallow running square bow crankbait in bluegill pattern. Tie it on that I'm going to be starting out with, kind of using it as a, as a search bait. That's my one faster moving bait. Um, this rod here, I've got a football jig, um, black and blue color with a rage craw trailer. And then on this rod here, have a... Uh, some sort of soft plastic creature bait that's a Berkeley power bait of some kind so um, the plan is kind of to start out with the plug um, fish a little bit faster almost use it sort of like a search bait and then depending on how that goes move on to uh, the football jig and the creature bait um, really I have out of all these baits the most I'm most optimistic about this little creature bait here um, it's a little bit more down my alley of what my fishing style is, kind of more of a finesse bait. Um, I didn't get out here real early today, um, a little bit early, it's about 9 a.m., but so uh, probably kind of missed out on the hot early morning bite, um, so I'm not expecting a whole lot from the crankbait. Um, and then for me, I just know kind of what kind of fisherman I am, and I have a little bit more confidence in the slower moving finesse style baits. So that's why I'm a little bit more optimistic and will probably spend the most of my time out here today using that bait. But I didn't bring any additional crank baits or jigs along with me just for the fact that I tend to take a nice plug like this and get down to the bank and throw it into a tree on my first cast, and there's seven or eight bucks hanging in a tree right there. So I want to minimize the cost of the day and uh, hopefully force myself to be a little bit more accurate with my cast. And if I do happen to lose the crankbait, then I'm just going to go to the bait that I have a little bit more confidence in anyway, which is the finesse style creature bait that I have here. And hopefully the rod that I have that tied onto will hold up for me. Last time, uh, well, maybe not last time, but a while back, um, probably about a year ago now when I was fishing with this rod, had a little mishap here in the bed of my truck and uh, crunched the uh, top eye there. And so I had to replace it. You can see my crude handiwork that I've done there, um, replacing it. So 
We'll get to find out if that'll hold up if I happen to catch a fish on that rod today. So with that lengthy introduction and explanation of what I'm doing today, I'm going to get down there, see when I can catch some fish, and uh, if not, then you'll probably never see everything that I just uh, blabber on about. But uh, hopefully I do catch some fish and have a good video for you all to watch today. Here's the first fish of the day. <laughs> As you can see, it's not a bass. Not a bad bluegill, though. If I can get him to calm down, get him off this hook, I'll give you guys my story. Not a bad fish. Oh. Well, no luck with the bass tackle. I'm not a bass fisherman. It can be challenging from the bank. Um, access is limited, etc. This is a pressured lake, but it just didn't work out for me this morning. So I had one bite. I had spent, I don't know, probably over an hour casting and nothing happened. And found myself kind of feeling like those folks that I always bag on when I'm out fishing, catching, you know, fishing smaller lures, often fishing with my ultralight rod and little one inch jigs and catching tons of fish and all the people around me are catching nothing. And, you know, I kind of give them a hard time because I, you know, I watch them not catch anything and I'll sit there and catch fish after fish after fish. I found myself kind of being that person that's doing the same thing, you know, casting and all committed to catching bass and so in the end not catching anything. So what I did is I uh, got my bag. I don't have my ultralight rod with me today. I don't have any small jigs. Um, but uh, opened my tackle bag and found a little beetle spin. So... That's the lure there that I have a lot of confidence in. I know a lot of a large variety of different fish will eat. It's a little bit smaller profile, so I can target some of these smaller fish and at least catch something before I get out of here. So I've kind of shifted priority. I've shifted my intents, my purposes out here today, and just trying to adapt and make the most out of a day that so far has not been very great. So I'm gonna try and scratch a few fish out of this before uh, I have to take off. So I'm gonna get back to casting and hopefully I'll find a few more fish. That's a little bit better fish, probably still bluegill though. Oh, green sunfish, that's a big green sunfish. On slight tackle, makes it feel like a better fish, but that's a real nice green sunfish. I've been catching a few. Oh, and there he goes. I've been catching a few, but the ones that I have got have just you know, bit my lure right right at my feet. Not really enough time to get the camera on and get any footage of it. And you know, like I said earlier, I switched over to this beetle spin just so I could get a few bites at least anyway. So far, not really anything too impressive. That one bluegill, that green sunfish just that you just now saw is the biggest one I've caught so far. So I'm just gonna keep working my way up this bank and up and around and see what I find and if I don't really find much then I'll probably just call it a day. I guess whether I find a lot or not I'm probably still going to call it a day once I get up around this bank. So hasn't been a great day out here but there's still time so we'll see what happens. And that one's a bluegill. Haven't caught anything of any size but at least I've been catching something. Better than catching nothing. There's one there. Nope, come off. He's still sitting right there. Oh, he swam off. Just a bunch of green sunfish out here. Haven't been, oh, that's a terrible cast. It's gonna get all in those weeds. Haven't really been having any luck with anything else. And even the green sunfish aren't, you know, sometimes you'll get on a school of them and just catch fish on fish on fish and even with the green sunfish it's just not like that today they're here and there and just not in real heavy concentrations scratching out a sunfish bite at least though I have to give the bass another go one of these days 
There's something right there. That's a bluegill. Not a bad bluegill. Yeah, actually, that's a real nice bluegill. <laughs> Nice bluegill. And back in the water it goes. And back in the water my lure goes. There's one. Got to be a bluegill. Nope, just a big, big green sunfish. Yeah, that's a nice one. Well, I had thought maybe I'd catch, you know, a small bass or two on the beetle spin. But thus far, the bass have not been out to play, but the green sunfish have been. Man, he choked that thing down. Give it back, buddy. I've been casting just making a few casts right here right along the this yep there's one right there the shoreline because there's a bunch of rocks here and oh at least back in the water a bunch of green sunfish on these rocks I had intended to keep working my way up along this bank but of course there's a couple more fishermen up. Oh, there's no. Oh, lost him. Of course, there's a couple, couple more fishermen up along the bank that way. So can't get any stretch of this lake to yourself out here today. Even during the week, you can't. So I don't know. Maybe go a little bit farther and then just call it quits. I haven't seen anyone else catch fish out here today, so I'm not the only one that can't catch anything. Other than these green sunfish. Catching a few of them. Oh, there's another one. Right up along that shoreline up in these rocks. Wish they were bigger at least. Let's get a look at the little guy. Impresses me how fish this small can choke a bait down like that. Look at that. I know the bait's not too big, but still. There's one. Some green sunfish seem to really like these rocks. Seems to be where you catch most of them is by some kind of rock or concrete. About got my little beetle with him, didn't he? That would have been disappointing. Probably work my way on up to that dock over there and 
and make a few casts around the dock and then uh, get out here. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, come off. That's okay. It's not too devastating when you have a green sunfish come off the hook. If it was something different, I might have been a little more disappointed. Had something after it there. There's something there that felt a little bit bigger. Probably a bluegill. Yep. Nope, just a really big green sunfish. Wow. I mean, that thing, that would make a heck of a flathead bait there, wouldn't it? Not keeping any for flathead baits today, though. I would. Go do some catfishing tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday, but got my dad's coming up to go make a trip to Cabela's. Get ourselves outfitted for our uh, archery mule deer hunt that's coming up here in about a month. So I'm going to spend my day doing that. Yet another. They're all up in these rocks. Ah. Ah. All right, folks, that's going to be a wrap for me there. I, I moved on farther down the bank up to that dock, like I'd said, caught several real nice green sunfish there around that dock but then people were pretty close i had an audience didn't really want to be talking to myself and look like i'm crazy out here so you're not going to see that on camera but i got plenty of green sunfish for uh to make a video for y'all and you know i didn't catch anything different or interesting over there so um but you know today wasn't really what i had planned on it being i was hoping to come out here and catch a few bass i haven't I ain't bass fishing in a long time. Obviously, you can tell that I'm not much of a bass fisherman. I don't go often because if I was a better bass angler, perhaps I would have caught something. But um, real pressured water out here, even just to get some bank access. I, it's a better body of water for fishing from the bank because they keep the banks kind of clear. Um, but there's a lot of people out here. I mean, even on a weekday, just it, a lot of people on the bank, a lot of people... Uh, out and about so pressured water um, but yeah I'm th th this is a, a prime example of what's nice about not being a bass pro <laughs> I come out here to catch some bass didn't work out but I was able to change it up tie something on that I have a lot of confidence in which in today's case was a beetle spin and at least get a tug on line at least catch some fish so that's something that I would encourage you all to consider if you're out fishing for whatever bass walleye catfish whatever you're after and it's not working out why not change it up why not tie something on that you have a lot of confidence in that you know will get you some bites and at least have a little bit of fun out on the water catch a few fish rather than you know getting frustrated uh, starting to fish a little too fast cast your lure into tree branches and just making the day worse so that'd be my little uh, 10 cents worth of advice uh, advice to y'all and um, yeah wouldn't again wasn't exactly what I was hoping for out here today but I can't complain had a good day caught some fish had a lot of fun hope you all enjoyed watching the video and appreciate you coming along with me and I'll see you in the next one